Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great, teacher. I'm great. And you? Nice, nice. I'm doing okay too. Thank you. Okay. All right. Maria, Hi. Stephanie. Hi, teacher. Araceli, Floor. Everybody is coming to class. How was your day? Did good. you have a good day? Good. Did you do anything different or anything unusual? Normal day for me, teacher. Okay. All right. So what is today's date, people? What's today's date? Today is 2nd, September 2020. Very good. September 2nd, 2020. Okay, so first thing before we start with the review, I will take attendance to see who is here. Uh, Sophia Stephanie? No. Uh, Fernando Arturo? No. Coralia? No. Ronald Humberto? Present. Very good. Katia Marcela? No. Jimmy Rodriguez? No. Christian Alexander? No. Josué Edgardo? No. Jimena Alexandra? No. Samuel Rosales? No. Rocío Mejía? No. Mercy Carolina? No. Araceli. Hi, teacher. Hello, Araceli. How are you today? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Maria del Carmen. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Helen Lopez. I'm here. Okay, very good. Luis Escobar. No. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Stephanie, Stephanie. Here, 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 here. Very good. Christian Omar. No. Wendy Guadalupe. No. And Magdalena. No. Okay. Christian Alexander. Present. Very good. Okay. Welcome back. It's September 2nd and the year is 2020. We are almost finished with the course. So, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Yes. What were the topics? Well, first, we talked about how do I organize training for my staff. Good. How to organize training for your staff. Yes. So, what is the first step? that a person needs to take before they organize training? What do you need to know? Anala, an analyze. Analyze the job. Analyze the job, okay. So this is what they do. And then you analyze 
um, which things the person is doing okay and which things the person needs to improve. Okay, very good. What else did we do? What else? What were the other topics? Uh -huh. we, did, we discussed uh, vocabulary. Yes, we discussed vocabulary. Always related about training. Good, always related about training. That is correct. Do you have any questions about that vocabulary? No. No? Okay, and what other activities did we do? What were the other activities? Uh-huh. So we spoke about training. We spoke about vocabulary. Anything else? Did we have a, a, a conversation about something? About English. Yes, we had a conversation English. about English language. Yes. How many letters does the English alphabet have? How many letters? 26, 27, 28. How many letters? 26. 26 is correct. How many letters in the Spanish alphabet? 28. 28 or 27. You know, because the Spanish alphabet has had different versions, sometimes 28, sometimes 27. So what's the difference between the English and the Spanish alphabet? What is the only the, difference? The letter N. Yes, letter N is the only difference. That is correct. Good. Any questions or comments? How many tenses does English have? How many tenses, how many grammatical tenses does English have? Twelve. How many? Twelve. Twelve is correct. Twelve is correct. Now, how many parts does English grammar have? Three. Someone else? How many parts does English grammar have? Verbs, nouns, adjectives, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh. how many? American version has eight. Grammar is divided in eight parts, American grammar. British grammar has nine parts. What is the difference between the American and the British grammar? What is the extra component that the British have? So let, let me write it in the chat. Um, American English grammar has eight parts. British have nine parts. So what is the difference? The difference is that is the difference. How do you pronounce that word? D or the? the. How, how do you pronounce that word? D or the? Both. Both. Both Same. are good. Can you explain why the two options are good? So you go like this. D for vowel sounds. 
D for vowel sounds. The is for, what is the opposite of vowels? Consonant. Yes, yes. So for vowel sounds and the is for consonant sounds. Any questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me share this. Let me open your book. We will start. Uh, our first activity is on page 36. It's a speaking activity. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, page 36. Okay, so we will discuss the first part. We will discuss the first two questions. May I have a volunteer to answer, to read the two questions, please? Yes. Me. It is only. Uh huh. Go ahead. It is only new employees who need training. Okay. What do you What do you do if you are a manager and, a, and an employee comes to you asking for training? Okay, so that's going to be your first speaking activity. So like Helen says, is it only new employees who need training? What do you do if you're a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? So let me make the rooms. Here we go, add a room, add a room. And let's do this. Employees who need, need training. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Employee comes to you asking for training. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking? No, no, I entendí la la pregunta. Okay, yes, that is exactly. I think it's every people need to some training in in one of. Skin for training. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are Hi. you? Fine. 
How was your day, Sofia? Busy. Busy. Okay. Yeah. And you, Araceli, how was your day? I, I have a good day. Good. Your sound is good right now, Araceli. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, finally, probably the connection. Good. Good for you, Araceli. Nice. People. Tiene que ser seguido. Constant. The procedure needs um content. What is the question, Maria? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice lo, lo, el, el entrenamiento tiene que ser constante? Training has to be constant. Okay. And permanent. Yes. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Actualizaciones, sí, sir. What is it, Jimmy? Actualizaciones. Update. Action. Update. update. Yes, okay. update. So everybody in the in the in the company in the institution needs to be updated. Everybody, with no exceptions. With no exception. Yes. All right. You guys are room room six. Your room six. Sometimes there are okay. I think that work only apply in for computers update no update uh is general is general mm. and it's also a technical word that you use in the world of computers like update your system update the application but also uh why do people read the newspaper every day so they stay updated uh, okay. okay yes all right me like a like a employee i need to um improve my my skills um, the things that i know um, um that's why we need a, a program for the future like you say exactly yeah and how about I'm... you luis thank you luis what is your opinion luis <laughs> <laughs> My opinion is that is the, the the new employees uh, get the and the training. Okay. Um, the others, the 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 old workers. The old workers um um uh, uh, need and um um how do you say entre, uh, refuerzo, entrenamiento de refuerzo. <laughs> Updating. Updating. The, updating. The, yes. Yeah, actualizaciones, actualizarse. Updates or, or reinforcements, or training. Or yes, yeah. Tra yeah, sometimes training uh, can be used as a reinforcement, as a reminder. Don't forget that we're supposed to follow these procedures and blah, blah, blah. So they're used as reminders. Okay. Good. Any questions or comments about the questions you guys were discussing? No, teacher. No? No. All right, all right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, all right. So, um, let, let's see, let's go over the two questions. Now, the first question was, is it only new employees who need training? What is your opinion to that question? Is training only for new employees? No, the permanent employees need a training ongoing. Okay, good, someone else? Is training exclusively only for new people? 
No. No, with Araceli, talk about uh, human resources in uh -huh. your in your work. Uh, have a program uh, developed and they give training all to all people. Okay, to... good, good. Now here's the question. Um, what kind of, tra imagine that you have been in your company for five years and suddenly they tell you, Francisco, you need to take this training. What kind of training would you offer to someone that is not new in the company? What kind of training? Could be maybe related with technology. Okay, it could be related with technology. Yeah. Yeah, technology never stops innovating. In this precious moment, they're thinking about something new. They're thinking about something new. And when that new thing arrives to your office, everybody has to be able to use it. Yes. Okay, and the second question, what do you do if you're a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? What would be your reaction if you're the manager? What will you do? It's a question. Teacher. Uh, yes. If I if I if I can help you, I will help you. <laughs> exactly. No problem. Exactly. Yes. yes. So, this is very this is very important for a company to achieve the the goals. Logger, teacher. Goals. Objectives. The goals if objectives. Yes, teacher. Very good. Yeah, the manager needs to show a positive attitude and says, look, if I can help you, sure, why not? Yes. Okay, someone else has another opinion? What will you do if you're the manager and an employee asks you for training? What would be your answer? Only Fernando has an opinion. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. It's related with this question, but is is related but uh, for gra uh, for grammar. To okay. Yes. Uh, the question is if I if you are a manager or a okay. boss. Uh huh. For example, yes. For, so, the answer uh, that is in the, the correct way is if I were. Yes, if I were. You're using the second conditional in, in that answer. Si yo fuera. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so if I were the manager, I would say, uh-huh. Okay, okay, thanks. Good, that's a good question. Okay, anybody else wants to give your opinion? No? I will conduct an interview with the employees for understand understand the training need, and I revise with uh, uh, with the supervisor Good. Uh -huh. for, for revise the the dates. Yes. For implementing the the training. Very good. Very good. So you need to analyze, you know, like, okay, let's give a training. You discuss it with a supervisor. You discuss which elements will be included in the training, who will be invited to the training, the date, the hours, and all that. Very good opinion, Stephanie. Good. All right. Anybody else wants to say something about the first two questions? No? All right, so let's go to the, to the other activity. What is the auxiliary that we use when we are talking in future tense? Will. Will. Will, okay, will. will. Are there any other options to speak in future besides will? Going to. Going to. Any other options? Any other options? 
Okay, we will start with the first one, which is um, going to, let me share this image. So we're going to practice this conversation. How many people in the conversation? Two people. Two. Uh -huh. What are their names? Stacy okay. and Diego. Okay, Stacy and Diego. All right. So let me send you this image. But, uh, Oh, I sent it two times by accident. Okay, so let me rearrange you. Uh, move to room nine. We will also move room nine will exchange with him and he will go to room four. Then we move to room two and she will be moved to room one. And room one as well. All right, so in some cases, uh, you guys will work with two other people. So you guys will decide who will be working, who will be doing the reading first. So let's do this. Okay, let me see who else is here. Three, three. Hello, hello. 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 I'm here. Yes. And you? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Diego. We will yeah. use these charts to analyze the training needs for our new servers. I say. Teacher. Yes. I don't know what happened with my, my camera. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, uh huh. And. Se me traba. It gets stuck. Uh -huh. It gets stuck. 
Entonces, no sé qué pasa. Ok, ¿is the camera you're using part of the computer or is it additional? No, it's part of the computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So in that case, uh, uh, I guess you will have to stay like the way you are right now mm -hmm. until you recover the image back. Okay, in, in some cases, I, I see you, but eh, como trabado, pero no sé si es mi internet, I don't know. Okay. All right, so let's 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 check. Maybe it's your internet because uh -huh. if you see that it gets stuck, it might be the signal. No, ah, okay. Yes. Well, I don't know, pero puedo continuar así con sure, la cámara sure, apagada. Sure, uh -huh. sure, go ahead, go ahead, no problem. Okay. Okay. We, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new... Okay. I will be... I do it that. I, um, no. I am Diego and Maria Stacy. Hello, hello. Second, this is, hello, teacher. Are you okay? I have a, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Fernando. How do you pronounce Messi or Messi? Messi. Messi. <laughs> the, Messi. Messi. Okay. Messi. Messi. We oh, play soccer. Yeah, Messi. Bar. Okay. Yep. So okay, Messi, teacher. Messi is the opposite of clean or organized. They're opposites. How does it mean? Okay. Yes. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, handling. handling. Have very yeah, are in handling. charge of, of angry food correctly. Yeah, of handling yes? food. It, handling in that particular case is a synonym of manipulate. Manipulate. Oh, entonces. Manipulate. Los meseros yes. se encargan de manejar la comida correctamente. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right, good. In the parallel. Ah, it says major task of the position. What is the context? Mm -hmm. No entiendo eso. Which one? <laughs> uh, it says major tasks of the position. Okay, wh where are you? Stacy, say in the paragraph of number two. Okay. Yeah, major task of the position, like the, the most important um responsibilities of the position mm. las responsabilidades mayores de la posición major mm. tasks so if, so if i say mm. what is the major task of a police officer oh he protects people he helps them if they need help so that is the major task mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what is major the ma the major task of a uh, of a waitress or waiter? What is the major task? Attend polite people. Yes, attend politely to the people that are visiting. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you guys are room nine. In hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. 
Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How is everything with the ladies? Yes. Very good. Nice. Good. Yeah. Ronald, so, did, did you have a question? <laughs> it, yes, oh, teacher. Sorry. We 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 are discussing the meaning of the word chart. Chart. Uh, uh -huh. Cuadro. Like when you're working with Excel, you make charts. Ah, uh, celda. Uh, ah, cuadro. Cuadro. Ah, okay. Yes, cuadro. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi, Maris. Hi, Maris. Hi. You start this time. What? You start with the conversation this time. You are okay. Diego. I'm Diego. Yes. Diego. Desordenado. Messi is como desordenado. Yes, Messi is the opposite of neat or organized. And the compliment, a bit messy. They look a bit messy. A bit means uh, a small portion. Un poquito desordenados. A bit. Mm -hmm. So if I ask you, do you like uh, Japanese food? Only a bit. Only a bit means a little bit. They look a bit messy. Se ven un poquito desordenados. A bit. Okay, okay. Any questions about the conversation, about the dialogue? No? 
No. Can you give me a description about the picture in part two? What do you see in the picture? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Josue. About the meaning of grooming. Okay. Does anybody know the meaning of the word grooming? Similar clean. Yes, period. yes. Grooming makes reference, uh, like Stephanie was saying, to the appearance, to have a good presentation. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So, uh, when let's say you're going to a birthday party after the emergency is over, whatever, you shave, you take a shower, you use some nice clothing, and you look groomy. Okay. Yes. Okay. And right. messy is the opposite. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. Thanks. Good. Anybody else has any other questions? So how many people are there in the picture? Two. Two, Two people. Uh, can you give me a description about the woman? What does she look like? Short hair, long hair, curly hair, black he hair. Long hair and blonde, blonde hair. And okay. she and white she skin. skin. White skin, long hair. Okay, what color is the hair? Blonde hair. Okay, all right. And what is she wearing? She's wearing a sweater. Or, okay, sweater? yeah, she's wearing a sweater. How do you say manga larga in English? Long sleeve. Long sleeve, very good. Long sleeve. So she's wearing a sweater or you want to say she's wearing a long sleeve shirt. What about the guy? What is he wearing? He's wearing glasses. Okay, he's wearing glasses, yes. What else? Is he wearing a t-shirt? No. What is he wearing? He's wearing a long life. Uh, no, uh, a sweater. A sweater. A sweater. Yeah. Okay. Or a long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve. Okay. <laughs> and okay. what does he have in his face? What do you mustache. call that? What is it? He, a, he, okay. had a mustache. he has a mustache. What's the style of the mustache? Um. Hello? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, he's wearing a goatee. 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 Goatee is candado. The, the one like, like the one. Ah, okay, okay. 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 Yes. Goatee. All right, uh, anybody else has any questions or comments about the conversation or the picture? No. no. Okay, so now we go to part three. So can somebody please read the instructions in part three? Yes, I can read. Okay, please. Complete the training needs analyze. Oh. analysis. Analysis? Analysis? Uh, yeah. Complete the training needs analysis chart using the information from the box. Check your answers with a placemate. Good, very good. So this time, we have, how many options do you have? You have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. How many options? Seven options. Seven options. Options will be used there. So you have to use this information here. You're gonna choose that information and fill it up in the chart. Are the instructions clear? No. Yes. Okay. So listen, we have seven options. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So for, for every option, you will have to use it here. For example, where it says date, which one are you going to choose for date? Uh, G. 
Uh -huh. Letter G, exactly. So you have to play with this vocabulary to complete the the, the, the form. Okay. Is it clear? It's yes. clear now. Okay, good. So let's move this person here. This person here. Ha, ha, ha. Exchange here. Exchange here. Move to room eight. So, ha, ha, ha. Change with him. All right, so I guess we are ready. Uh -huh. Let me double check. Oh, we have this one here. So I will move and I will move her to number nine. All right, here we go, people. Lewis. Que, que, a trasladar el concepto cuadro que está abajo. Exactly, to the form. That's what you will do. For example, the, the letter G and is a, is a date. Exactly. So that's, that's exactly what you will do. Yes. Say handling credit cards is difficult for me. We have to choose that we consider that is, it's difficult or not. Training skills need.
What other areas would you like to improve? Handling credit cards is difficult for me. Maybe the letter to improve handing handing credit card is difficult for me exactly yes, yes. Mm -hmm. server orders by picking up and delivering patrons choice for brand uh, organized provider and the organizer and provider is the kitchen manager I think uh -huh. I think he is that provide the training to Jimmy. Okay. Kitchen manager. Uh, and what other what other what other areas would you like to improve? I think the grooming. What do you What do you think, Maria? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so where do you have letter A, Coralia? Uh, the letter A for me is the major tax of the position. Okay, let's see. Major tax of the position. Yeah. It could be. Yes, maybe. And I think it's... The training skills need it's about uh, how to handle credit card is difficult for him. Okay, so so what is what is uh, uh okay letter letter A training skills needed. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. That is letter A. Yes, That's letter A. Uh -huh. What about uh, letter B? The kitchen manager? The kitchen manager is who provides the training. Okay, good. What about letter C? Um, letter C. Uh, that is the for that is the training solution. Uh huh. Good. Very good. Letter mm -hmm. D. Grooming and personal appearance. That is another area that that would you like to improve? Okay, letter E. Mm -hmm. And letter E is the major task of the position. Right, very good. And letter F. Mm -hmm. This is the name of the employee. Uh, the employee name. Mm 
Letter F is the employee the, name. The employee name. Yes. The employee name. Is okay. The and name. letter G, September, Saturday, 10th? That is the date. Very good. The date that uh, is plus the training. Right, right. Okay, let me ask. Teacher, yes. how do you... Yes. How do you say uh, September Saturday day is a ten? The, the date? Yes. How do September Saturday tenth? Ten. Yes. It's like that. When when we mention them from a date. Now, in, in that in, case, uh, the book should have th tenth. Oh. But it's not in the book. Uh, okay. But they should have it. Okay. They should Ten. have it. Ten. Okay. Yes. Okay, so okay, I think it's time you. to go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. All right, welcome back. Let's check the answers before I check attendance. Um, where is letter A? Handling credit cards is difficult for me. Anybody? What other areas would you like to improve? Okay, now um, that can be an option. The first option should be training skills needed. But mm -hmm. in a real situation, you could write uh, what other areas would you like to improve? Because in a real uh, conversation, the two options are acceptable. So you can do that. What about letter B, kitchen manager? Is organizer or provider. Very good. Letter C, practical training in restaurant during off hours. Training solution. Training solution. Very good. Letter D, grooming and personal appearance. What other areas would you like to improve? Very good. Letter E, serve orders by picking up and delivering patrons' choices from bar and kitchen. Major tax yes. of the position. On the position. Very good. What is letter F, Jimmy Marshall? Employee name. name. Yes, and letter G, September, Saturday, 10th? Date. Date. Excellent, nice. Um, are there any questions with that exercise? No. <laughs> no? Okay, so let me revise the names again. Uh, Sophia Stephanie? Sophia Stephanie? Present. Okay, uh, Fernando Arturo. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Coralia. Present teacher. Good. Katia Marcela. Present. Very good. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Very good. Uh, Josue Edgardo. Present. Good. Jimena Alexandra. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Samuel. I haven't seen Samuel. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put a Rocio. Present, teacher. Very good. Rocio is here. Mercy Carolina. Present. Very good. Luis Escobar. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Present teacher. And Magdalena Emperatriz. Present teacher. Okay, very good. All right. Um, good. I think everybody's here except for Samuel. All right, good. Now, um, any questions about will, on how to use will? No? 
Okay, so now it's time for you to create your own conversation, a real conversation. I will assign you to work in pairs and you will have to speak about possible changes or changes that your company is planning to make uh, maybe at the end of this year, maybe uh, sooner than that. Uh, let me see this here. Move to here. Okay, move to ten. Nine. And so someone's carrying a baby. <laughs> Someone is babysitting. Hello. Oh, there I am. Hello, everyone. Hello, baby. <laughs> is that your your niece? Nephew. Oh, your nephew. Sorry, nephew. <laughs> nephew. How old is the nephew? Twelve days. Twelve days. Oh yes. Twelve days. My goodness. So yeah. He's is basically very new to this world. It is. He is. He is new. Okay. And he's learning English. Good. Very good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's the idea. Tell him exactly. to tell him to participate. Sorry, I'm sleeping. <laughs> All right. So once again, what you will do is use will in a conversation to talk about changes or plans that your company has. When you finish talking about the changes or plans that your company has, you will talk about the plans that you have in your personal life. Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Hello, Hi, people. Teacher. How Hello, are you? <laughs> Fine, teacher. Did you have a yeah. good day, Luis? Yes, teacher, I had a good day. <laughs> okay, what time did you finish working? Um, 2 o'clock. <laughs> 2 p.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Okay. This day. Okay. In the morning. Two in the morning. Two in the, uh, two o'clock a.m. And what time did you start working? Uh, Eight thirty. Okay. The in the in the in the morning. In the morning, the the Thursday. Yeah, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. So you finished this morning at 2 a.m., right? Yes, teacher. And you began at 8.30. I, I turned it to this day, yes. <clears throat> okay, good, very good. So discuss your conversation. 
Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Are you having, are you preparing your conversation? Yes. Okay, good. I knew exactly that's what you guys were doing. You were preparing your conversation. <laughs> I, I don't know the, 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 num the number two and number three for me is new because I think that we'll, uh, we use only to make prediction, but for the future, we can use for decisions, a a spontaneously, a spontaneously decisions, or in order to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. Right. Uh, you use will when you are talking about future, but you didn't plan that structure in the future. So if I ask you, what do you want? You guys want hamburgers or hot dogs? And it says, no, I'll, I'll get a hamburger. So you're talking about something, a decision that you made at the time of speaking without planning it. And when, and when I use will, uh, people understand that I say 100% that okay. this action. Yes, um, you know, like grammatically speaking, there is a difference between will and going to. Going uh -huh. to is for plans and will is for possibilities or when you make the decision at the time you're speaking. Now, in a real conversation, you are free to say will, you are free to say going to, and people will understand what you are saying exactly. Okay. Yes. And, and, and when people say, for example, I'm traveling for Paris the next year. Yes. That is, that is, that is other option to, to make sentence in the future. Yes. Yes. But you, you, it's valid, grammatically speaking, it's valid if the decision, the, 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 the sentence that you're given was not planned. So you said, okay, I have a, some, uh, my, my company gave me a free ticket. I'll be traveling to Europe with this ticket. But oh, okay. you're making the decision at the time you're speaking. Okay. Yes. Okay. But I, uh, but this idea to teach informatics in English, my boss want to to do the next year. Good. Mm. That's a nice plan. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and what do you usually teach to your students, Jimena? I teach uh, well. The school they buy they they buy they bought an a platform with yeah. an specific uh, empresa. Oh, enterprise. Enterprise. Mm -hmm. And it's very functional. Uh huh. The exercise for for those with the with the kids. But my boss wants that the next year she wants to do the class in English. Good, very and good. And start uh, with another classes teach English. Good, nice, nice. And what's the name of the platform you use? T-Box. Oh yeah, T-Box, mm -hmm. yes. But yeah. they have a T-Box Junior. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used T-Box like seven or eight years ago. Uh, and it was very, very a very interesting uh, platform. Yes. It's not difficult to, to use that. Right. It's, it's, it's very friendly with the user. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. You're mm -hmm. right. Okay, good. Hey, wow. 21 days. And Why do you... Why do and you? I, I I drank only water, and 
I don't, I don't, I can food um, a meals and milk and rice and beans. I don't, I can, I can eat. So, eat. so you were sick, and Christian? No, no. Uh, we were diet? talking about and two, two or three years ago, I took a, a, a yun. How do you say a yun? I don't oh, know. Uh, fast. Fast. Yes, and, fast. And I will, and I will uh, make the other time okay. that, that fast because I, I, I need Lose your uh, way. Desintoxicate. <laughs> oh, oh, so you did it for medical reasons? Yeah, and uh, for 21 days. Okay, so you, you were on a diet? Yeah, it's a, a hard diet, but uh, you, can, you can drink only water. No tea, no coffee. Okay. No, no soda. Only, only water. water, 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 water for 21 days. And you can eat only, only necessary for life. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, and how many pounds did you lose? Pounds, I don't remember, but the, the, I, I, I can remember the three, the first three days is very difficult. Yeah, uh, yeah. Headache. 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 And, bueno, I don't, I don't know how do you say, uh, como, Shaking, shaking, <laughs> shaking, uh -huh. headed, and and the I feel I feel bad. I feel <laughs> angry. Tired, I feel huh? angry. I feel tired. I yeah. I, I can I can speak with nobody. And but uh, a medida que days for step by step, uh -huh. and that 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 symptoms or disappear. My, my disappear disappear and i i am i feel happy i uh, i feel uh, strong and you and feel, I like feel you more, have more more heavy. energy okay more energy uh, a pesar de que no no se está comiendo o bebiendo lo, lo que uno suele tener pero... right and did you complete the 21 days yeah yeah and i I make I make a mistake, but when I when I finished twenty one days, the first the first Thing you a, do. activity. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I I I eight. I did. It was I ate a hot dog. I <laughs> ate hamburger, oh. and I and I sick. Really? I see. Really? Really? I sick very, very hard. Okay. Yeah. So you were sick in your stomach? Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. So <laughs> your, your stomach felt the difference from eating healthy and going back to the bad food? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I ate hot dog. I ate soda. I ate the other, the other eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. all, all the junk food. Junk food, exactly, junk food. Yeah. Fries, fries, and, and churritos. I yeah. don't know. All, all, all the bad things, all the bad things. Yeah. Okay, so you're planning to do that again? Yes, uh, when the, this year finish, will finish, I, I will think, take the other time that the diet okay for 21 days all right but now you know that when you finish don't eat uh, <laughs> junk yeah. food the first don't day again <laughs> or you yes. will get sick again no 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 all right very good yes because i have i am 26 and you have 22 years married 
Ah, so okay. I was four years when you get married. Ah, okay. Um, no, um, two, two hours. Oh, you're not old, Magdalena. No. Hello? So, you're so not that? old. You're not old. You're not old. Yeah. So, Magdalena, you, how many years have you been married? Uh, uh, I have 20, 22, 22. 22 years. 22 years. Okay. All right. And you have children too, huh? Two, two children. What ages yes. are your children? Um, 21, um, 15. 15. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. Very good. Um, um, how, how do you say, Mercy? Lo que no te pude contestar es, eh, nos llevamos dos años de diferencia con mi esposo. Él tiene... Va, Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Right. You must to take advantage of the time you have free in this moment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Take advantage of the time. Take advantage to the time because you will be a, a father. <laughs> <laughs> you you will be a father, Josué? Yes. Oh. In October. <laughs> In this October. Yes. Okay, good, good. Congratulations. Thanks. So your wife must have a, a, a big stomach right now. Yes, yes. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl. Good, good. Yes. And it's your first baby, right? Yes, my first baby. Okay, good, good. Yes. Now, uh, fathers, they get the... My, uh, three days off from work to ah, do yes. the paperwork. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, I, I remember when my last son was born a little bit more than three years ago, and I remember. Uh, I think they gave me two days off. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yes, it's important to to father uh, to be in that moment. Exactly. Yeah, uh, because mothers they need help too, so it's good to have the father around helping. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Coralia, do you plan to have babies? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Maybe in three or four years. Okay. All right. Yes. Good. At the moment, I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> All right. I'm okay. And on realidad. I think but. What happened? <laughs> Ronald, tomorrow uh, will <laughs> will I visit the the doctor? The doctor. He will visit the doctor for. Because I would like to look a little bit. Grooming. Oh, okay. It so is maybe... impossible, but he will he will try. <laughs> or maybe, <laughs> no, or maybe you don't need a doctor. Maybe you just need a a, a a barber. Maybe you know, get a haircut and. <laughs> <laughs> what I told you, Ronald. In order to to remove my 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 beautiful mustache. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, your your mustache looks classic. Yeah, like a Pancho Villa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Pancho Villa. I know. Okay, so. All right, let me visit one more room. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Uh, very good, teacher. Teacher. Yes, uh, sir. I did not understand what we were going to do. We were we were working on the exercise on, on page 37, but okay. we finished 
the okay. exercise. Okay, don't worry. Uh, you were supposed to uh, use will to talk about plans or changes that your company has for uh, next year or at the end of this year. And after okay. you finish talking about the changes or plan of your company, you were supposed to uh, talk about changes that you have planned for your life. Okay, teacher. Sorry. No, don't we worry. Sometimes... <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's, it's time to go back to the main session anyways. <laughs> don't worry. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, any changes or plans that your company has planned for this year or next year? No? No changes, no plans, nobody? No change, no plans. Okay, what about in your life? Do you have any plans or changes for uh, 2021 or at the end of 2020? No? Maybe we'll change the bad habits. Okay. For example, uh, drink a lot of soda. You drink a lot of soda right now, Christian? Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, you know, soda is so delicious, and uh, but but it's bad for your health. Yes, it is is very bad, but um, you enjoy it. Is my my weakness, visio, <laughs> visio, your weakness? Weakness, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and what is your favorite flavor? <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, only only Coke. Yeah. Only Coke. Coke, Coke is really good. Yeah. It's more delicious. It's more delicious than Pepsi or the others. Right. Yeah. In terms of cola, Coke is the best, but also orange grape. Champagne, they're they're good too. No, I I, I you stay with only cola. Prefer cola. Cola. Okay, good, good. Anybody else wants to talk about changes or plans that you have for uh, next year or the end of this year? Nobody. I will get a new job. Okay, good. I will get a new job. Yes. Good. That's that's the attitude. Get a different job. Very good. Yes, yes, teacher. It's All necessary. right. Yes. I Someone else? A master's degree. Study a master's degree. Nice. Very good. Someone else? If the time uh, con continue like this, I will enroll in English Corporativo next year. Okay, good. Good. Nice. Anybody else? I will develop in English. Good. I will develop my English. Very good. Is someone else? Someone else? Someone else? The others don't have changes or plans for the near future? No? Okay. So let's let me share page 37. Uh, some of you guys already finished that part. Can you see the paper? Yes. Can you, can, yes. All right. So how do you say cuadro in English? Chart. Chart. Okay. So in this chart, we have three explanations of how people use will. Um, uh, a while back, a few minutes ago, I was asking you about the choices that we have to talk in future. So you say, will, going to, future continues, blah, blah, blah. So uh, this time we'll be talking about will. 
May I have a volunteer to read the first explanation, please? I think a famous chef will come to the event. Okay. The event. Uh huh. So that's a prediction, right? Can you read the other example, please? The manager will prepare a new training for the host. Okay, good. So uh, what you believe will happen in the future. So once again, to make predictions, you use will. You use will. Second part of the chart, another volunteer, please. Consumers are complaining about slow service. I will talk to the staff. Okay, the next one, please. That server? That, that server just spilled the soap on the customer. I will call the manager. Okay, very good, thank you. So here we have the word spontaneously. Spontaneously means without planning, no mm -hmm. planning. So here, first, you have a situation. Consumers are complaining about slow service. What is your reaction? I will talk to the staff. Second scenario, that server just spilled the soup on the customer. I will call the manager. So I will talk to the staff and I will call the manager was not planned. You're making those decisions in the future spontaneously because those decisions come from a previous situation. Um, is the second part clear? Second part clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. And the last one says, use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. I'll be there at 9 a.m., I'll help you prepare the documents for the training. So once again, if you are offering to help, you say will as well. Any questions there? Questions or comments? Teacher. Yes, Ronald. When I use a, we able to. Okay will be able to is the equivalent of can in the future. So I can say, I can speak um, two languages. In the future, I will be able to speak three languages. Podré. Mm, podré. Yes. So it's impossible to say I will can. It's, it's not possible. <laughs> The structure is always, I will, I will be able to. Yes, will be able to. And then the yes. verb. Yes. So I will say, I will be able to go to the company tomorrow. I will be able to go. Okay. It's like uh, a possibility in the future. Um, it's, it's not exactly a possibility because, um, uh, able to is the same as can and if i ask you uh can you come tomorrow and he says yeah i can come tomorrow so I when you say do. i can come tomorrow that's not a possibility you are saying that you will do it okay. so remember can is for present could is for past and able to is what we use in all the other tenses how do you say, no voy a poder ir? How do you I say, uh-huh? I won't be I able. Won't, exactly. Won't. I won't be able to go. Okay. Now, pregúnteme si voy a poder ir. Ask me. Francisco, Would vas a poder ir? Uh-huh. Would you be able to? Exactly, yes. Would you be able to go? Okay, will you <clears throat> able to go? Will you will you be able to go? 
So how will you answer that question? Will you be able to go? Vas a poder ir? What is yes, the I will. Yes, I will, exactly. Will you be able to go? No, yes, I, I will. Or no, I won't. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, able to, will be able to, is what we say poder in future. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions or comments, people? No? No. Okay, so let's do the exercise five. We don't have much time, so I will send you back to work with the same person. Oh, I will show you know the, the process. Credit card payment. What is the contraction of I will? What is the contraction of I will? I'll. 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 Yes, I'll. Apostrophe L L. Uh, I apostrophe double L, yes. Double, double L, yes. I'll, 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 yes. The training needs analysis will be a success. Okay. Boy, boy, boy. Okay. What's the first one, Jimena? Okay, the first says, don't worry, I will show you how to process. To get yeah. the good score in the evaluation. She will, <clears throat> she won't. She won't be. She won't be late. She won't be meeting. Mm -hmm. Will. Success. Mm -hmm. Or will be? Or will be. Will be a success. Okay. Es que yo contesté esa en el en el en el examen, creo. Y me salió mala, creo. No me acuerdo bien. Which which uh which question, Josué? Eh, no, de sí. una que se parecía a la non, a la número tres. Okay, the training needs analysis. It will be. The training needs analysis will be a success. The training needs analysis will be a success. Yes. And your answer was not good in the in the platform, Jose? I I remember, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Yes. Yes, sir. Will you include? Ten or eleven hours.
Entonces mejor prefiero el cementerio. You prefer the cemetery? Yes, I prefer the cemetery to my job. It's my my new way to uh -huh. go to the job. Mm -hmm. Your new way to? Go to my job. Oh, okay. Okay. And where is your job? Where is it located? On Santa Tecla. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you live in La Cima, right? Yes, I live in La Cima, but está cerrada la, la entrada principal. Oh, okay. So you have to spend more time traveling. No, I have to cross the cemetery. Which cemetery? La Resurrección. La Resurrección. Where is La Resurrección? Uh, abajo de la cima. Del selecto. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Entonces, le han dado permiso para que los carros pasen por el cementerio para salir. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's new for me. Yes. Is, is there more traffic uh, during rush hour? No, it's not more traffic, it's, but it's, it's scary. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, let me go back. Ojalá que sí se pueda. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. You guys finished? Let's see. I'm sure you will have a good time. So this analysis will be a success. I promise I'll do my best. She won't be. Uh, she won't. She will not be late. She will not. It's okay. But when mm -hmm. you use the contracted form, you say she, she won't. won't be. But that one is good, too. The manager will work on good, very good, nice. Good. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, may I have a volunteer to answer number two? I'm sure you. We'll have a good time at the training. Very good. Number three, the training needs analysis. Uh-huh. Anybody? I will, I will be a success. Okay, the training needs analysis will be. I will be. Uh, will, will be. be. Will, will be. be. Yeah, uh, success. What is the meaning of success? Éxito. Éxito. Do you remember the commercial from Open English? No? Uh, yes. yes. Éxito. Éxito, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, I promise I... I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. Very good. Number five, she... Won't be won't. late to the meeting. Okay, she won't be late to the meeting. And number six. Uh huh. Number six. The manager will work, work hard to help us improve. Okay, good, good. All right. Um, any questions in part five? Questions in part five? No? no? No. All right, so let me exchange with this person. Exchange with this person. Exchange with her. Five. Uh -huh. One. We're almost finished, people. Okay. And I will move her. 
here. All right, so I guess we are set. Room six. I will move. All right, here we go. Also, I have to send to give the teacher. How yes. do you say quedan? Um, I don't know. Quedan. Quedan. No. I don't. I it's don't know. Like, how to... It's when. when you... es como, como que se emite por los créditos fiscales, como. El comprobante el, para el pago, el pago. para la fecha. Es, ajá. Uh, en español les queda, but in English I don't know. Uh, me neither. Let me check and I'll, and I'll get you the answer. How do you spell okay. quedan? Like quedan, ellos quedan? It's like quedan. Yeah, quedan. Okay. Uh, I think it's... It doesn't appear, but I'll, I'll look for it and I'll tell you. That's a okay. very good question. 
Okay. So today manual. Mm -hmm. In order to to create maybe a a new menu. For the but if a kitchen area. In the in the in the exa well our example can be uh, that we are a uh, kitchen managers. Mm -hmm. So uh, in that case, we we will create a new menu, for example. Mm -hmm. Or or do you have other other example? No, I I think it's it's nice. I will I will be good if the procedure will faster. For the case. Yes, she will. Yes. Okay. The 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 first step is is in that case your your boss send the email for um, resource human human resource what do you say recurso humano teacher human resources human resources yes human resource. for the human resources and when the human resources open um, the email and read uh, she um, they eat department is will will call you and come mm, i think it... hello ladies hello. hello and um if you had to decide to give a training in your company which areas would you include? All the areas, accounting, security, human resources. Maybe human resources. Human resources. Yes. Okay. And what, what training would you implement, Marcela? I don't know. Okay, so human resources will be responsible to implement the, the training. So it will include all the areas? Maybe in human relations. Okay. All right. And Sophia? Maybe a um attention of the clients okay customer service customer service yes okay and uh, maybe for for the sales only for for sales okay and right. stores okay good yes sales too all right for um uh for manager accounts yes um negotiations for buyers uh-huh uh, planification for human resources okay good good yeah i think that all the areas need to be innovated yes okay good
and training solutions. And what other areas would you like to improve? And in my case, I I need to improve my organization because some things I forget uh, some activities in my job and that is very, very important to improve, yes. Okay. Entonces, es, 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 ay, how do you say, eh, importante que Import. estés, import by este, no, step by step, eh, 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 we, ¿y qué? By, how do you say, para que la corte de cuenta no te, no te, no te. No lo cuestione. Eh, ajá, no, 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 no te evalúe mal o no te sancione. Okay, so they don't evaluate you bad. Ah, okay. Uh, Yes. How do you say that? Fanta burger. Delicious. Hamburger. Fanta burger. Fanta burger. I didn't know about that. Sandburger. Sandburger. Ah, I didn't know about that. Yes, they have an option that is gluten free, but they bomb. It's made uh, with plant, plantain. 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 Ah, plantain. I yes. would love that. Yes, it is very good. It's very, very, very good. It, I think it's the only, the only place that have that option. But I mean, the, 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 where do you, they use the plantain? Um, For the, the bread board? or? All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? No? Okay. Christian Omar, are you here? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Oh, okay, so you have been programmed to stay with me 10 minutes today. Okay. At 10 o'clock. Um, any questions or comments, class? No. no. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. Well. <laughs> Christian, how are you? Uh, very fine, teacher. Good, good. So you know that uh, in in every every fr every Wednesday, um, five of you guys had extra ten minutes, but this is our last week, so they have assigned only one person each each day. So today is okay. your day. So I just want to know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions about the class. About the class, no, but I understand some more your, your class and the, the topic are, are very clear. Okay. And maybe, maybe I, I want, I want a, a suggestion for, I want to be learn, I want to learn in speaking third person Okay. For me, it's very difficult. Okay. So when you when you're saying the third person singular, you're talking about the simple present tense. Yes. So remember, when you're using the the simple present, let me use the chat. You say, "She lives in a 
big house. She lives in a big house. What do you need to do to the verb when you're using he, she, it? He, she, it? What happens to the verb? Um, add a, a letter S at the that, end of the oh, verb. Okay. Now, ask me. Vive ella en una casa grande? Give me a question. Y ella lives, vive en casa grande. Uh -huh. Lives she in a big house? Okay. Does she live in a big house? Does she live in a big house? Good. Very good. What would be the answer for that question? Yes or no. She lives in a, in a big house. Okay. How would you give short answers to that question? Yes, she yes, she does or uh, no, she doesn't. Okay, good. So here are things that are very important when you're using the third person singular in, in the simple present. When you're using he, she, it, it is mandatory that you include S to the verb. In some cases, you will include ES. So S or ES is mandatory. To make questions with the third person singular, you have to include does. Does, does she live yes. in a big car? Does she work on Saturdays? Does she have children? So you, you must include does. So does, does she work for uh, La Curacao? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. So it's, it's yeah. uh, the information when you're talking about the third person singular is it's very easy and important to use. Okay, in, in that case, is only in first first person. Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, third person in singular. Yes. In in plural. Uh, the verb stays normal. So you said, "Y sus papás trabajan en diciembre." Do your parents work in December? Work. Oh, Do your okay. brothers um, know the story? Do they come in December? So, um, so does is for he, she, it. Any other personal pronoun, you have to include the, the do. Do. Okay. And the okay. verb stays normal. You don't need to put S or ES. Only with uh, she. He, it. He, it. Yes. Only okay. with he, she, it. Right. So, and the rules are easy to understand. So whenever you have the chance, use it, apply it. And next thing you know, you will be um, using the simple present tense in a very nice, accurate way. Okay. Other questions, teacher? Yes, sir. And But other other topics. Yes, go ahead. And, and the auxiliary did, I, I using only when I when I talk in past yes for a question in negative form exactly okay so, so I can say it, uh, Christian did you eat dinner today yes I did I had a wonderful dinner or okay. if I said uh, Christian did you work today no I didn't it was my day off so okay. did is to make questions didn't is to make negatives. Also, you can make negative questions. So I can say, Miri, usted no se no. Usted no se no. That's a negative question. So didn't you eat uh, dinner? Didn't you eat dinner? So the same way that we make negative questions in Spanish, you do exactly the same in English. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uno, uno, uno tiende, bueno, por lo menos yo, a veces yo solo me escucho. Uh -huh. que cuando quiero hablar en, en pasado uh -huh. <laughs> eh, de repente lo estoy exponiendo todo pero en presente it's normal uh, I don't know if it was you or someone else uh, that was making a similar question and, and it's like when a gringo is talking to you and the gringo's Spanish is not that good they tell you uh, yo ayer ir a la playa 
you know, it's mm -hmm. not yo ir a la playa, it's not que yo fui. But people understand. Sí. Or they tell you, oh, el año pasado yo comprar un carro. Uh, yo compré un carro. So grammatically speaking, it's not good, but people understand what you're saying. So what you need oh, okay. to do is be, <laughs> be, be careful and study the past form of the verbs. So when you speak, you do it nice and correct. Okay. Yeah. So okay. there are there are it's, many it's things. Clear. Yeah. So there are many things in English that have an explanation, and there are others that there is no explanation. It's just practice, practice, and practice. So keep yes, it up. I, I, I need some more practice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Only, Any, anything only else, but, Christian? But the, the anything else. No, nothing That's else. All. Okay, good. Okay, Not, so, nothing else. Okay, good. So I guess I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. All right. Good night, teacher. You have a good night. Take care. Hey, well. Bye bye.